sir. Yes? A Star Destroyer has just dropped out of hyperspace, and the Lambda is heading this way. I wasn't aware the Governor Price and Grand Admiral Thrawn were planning on returning so soon. It's not them, sir. Then who is it? Lord Vader, welcome back to Dothal. My apologies for the small display of arms. Most of the troops were out on patrol, and I wasn't able to assemble them on such short notice. Not usually relegated to my arrivals is unnecessary, Minister. I am here on urgent business. And what business is that, my lord? To make sure that your incompetence is not threatening the security of the archaeological dig. The Emperor is quite displeased with recent rebel activities. Grand Admiral Thrawn successfully chased the Phoenix Rebels off the planet. Any resistance that remains has gone into hiding. Planetary security is one thing, Minister, but system security is another. My lord? There have been multiple rebel incursions in the recent past, most notably the prison riot. The Emperor and I question whether you're able to keep the system secure while Thrawn and Governor Price are away chasing the larger threat. I can assure you that those incidents are being taken care of. Thrawn dispatched an elite unit himself to take care of this new cell. We have not dealt with the problem yet, which brings me to you. After the unfortunate passing of Minister Tua, the hope was that you would succeed where she failed and maintain security while your superiors are away. You can't honestly expect me to take responsibility for the individual success or failures of one of Thrawn's projects, can you? I will remain here a few planetary rotations to observe. For your sake, Minister, you had better trust that our troopers can uphold their reputation. Hey, you okay? Yeah, fine. That trooper that stopped us in the corridor. He was a former squad mate, wasn't he? Yeah, I didn't think things would end like that. He's one of the Force now. Free of conflict. That's it. No good place for the good people to go. No bad place for the bad. There's nothing but the Force. My dad said that the Jedi used to say that. You grew up on Lothal. Ever met the Jedi that were there? No. Heard a lot about them, though. Caused quite the stir in the barracks. Thought it was silly at the time, but now I know why. The Jedi represent hope, and the Empire fears that. They use fear and selfishness to get what they want and make sure that those that serve it do the same. That's how 998 operated. He did whatever he could to make it look like he was the best, whether winning a shooting contest or getting promoted. It's what got him killed. The galaxy can't keep operating on fear, or else more people will end up just like him. We need people to believe in the rebellion, proof that there's more than just fear out there. We might be closer than that than ever before. The data we got is vague, but it points towards the construction of something big. So is right. They're building some sort of doomsday weapon. So, how do we use this to our advantage? Get it to saw in two tubes. They'll know what to do. Problem is, they're always on the move, and we can't reach them to hand over the data. We have his contact info, though, right? Can we just send him the data through a transmission? We don't have the transceiver range. What if we hijacked one of the Imperial comm towers, like Phoenix Squad did, to send that signal? Too risky. There'd be Imperials and Omnids everywhere. It's a wonder they survived to send the signal, Jedi or not. What if I knew about an old decommissioned tower? Re listening? We better do something soon. I think he's about to snap. I'll be right there with him. 7604 doesn't just get to kill 998 and then just hide. He needs to face justice. I agree. However, we can't just sit here floating in space waiting for a signal. We need to try and anticipate their next movements. How do we do that? Well, what do we know? We know they probably managed to actually steal data this time, so they'll probably need to get it to someone. Okay, great, but they could go anywhere to do that. What if they tried to transmit it? I doubt that small ship of theirs has a very powerful transmitter. If they were going to send it to someone, they'd need a means of doing so. So they hijack a comm tower? That'd be suicide. The old comm tower on Gorilla's moon is abandoned. What? Before Gorilla was properly settled, a comm tower was placed on the planet's moon. When the planet was fully settled, a new one was placed on the surface itself, and the lunar one was left up. If 7604 and the Rebels need a high-powered transmitter, it'd be perfect. So, should we set course until we get a signal telling us otherwise? Affirmative. Think this thing will even still work? Let's hope so. 
Well, we got power. That's a good sign. Let's see about sending that data. So, it's going to work, but we got a problem. Which is? So, this calm tower is on a moon, which has two orbits to complete. One around the planet, and then the orbit around the star, which the planet takes. Because of the dueling gravitational forces, it wreaks havoc on the signal. We can send the data, but the comm tower will only be in the right place for a transmission every couple of hours. How long till we're in the right place? We're in luck, because in 15 minutes we'll be transmitting. That's not luck. That's the force. What the shab was that? Please tell me we still have that data disk. It's my squad! Captain Cybin to Imperial HQ Lothal. We have engaged the Rebel Cell and have them pinned, but reinforcements to assist in capture would be appreciated. What is it, Minister? Lord Vader, Thrawn's squad is requesting backup. They've got the Rebel Cell that assaulted the prison cornered on Garel's moon. Send a Star Destroyer to assist them. At once, my lord. New plan! We're stealing their ship and handing this intel to Salt personally. I'll distract them. Everyone, flank around and capture that ship! So, uh, what now? A lot roomier than the U-Wing. Sim, Reno, we're going to signal the transponder so they can't track us. We'll go to the Rebel base and... Caught in a tractor beam! They'll board us and get the intel! Oh yeah? Not without a fight. Hey guys. What? There's a tide in the cargo bay here. Two or three of us could squeeze in and get the intel out of here. The Star Destroyer won't be able to lock onto the tie fast enough to catch it in another tractor beam. Good plan, Kaplan. Reese, you, the droid, and the kid get out of here. We'll hold off the stormtroopers. I'm not going to leave you behind. If we're lucky, they'll take us prisoner and you can find a better ship on Garel. Saw needs that intel. Fine. Come on, kid. We're leaving? Just like that? We don't have time to argue, kid. Get going. But... Oh, run! One of the force and the force of me. You know nothing of the force. Lord Vader, we have them. You just left them! Kid, I've heard a lot of bad stories about Imperials with red blades. I wasn't gonna stick around and get acquainted with whoever that was. He got the intel! Better it than us! I'm sending a distress signal on all rebel known frequencies. If someone is nearby, they'll get us. This is the squad that was on the moon, sir. Adequate work. Thanks to your efforts, this rebel cell has been terminated, and the information they stole retrieved. Return to Lothal at once. Your mission has ended. Yes, my lord. Lord Vader, the escaping ties within firing range. Terminate them at once, Captain. What's that mean? They've got a target lock on us. It's Phoenix Squadron! Apology, sir, but a V-Sex transport came and rescued the crew of the stolen tire before our fighters could destroy it. The remaining rebels have escaped, I'm afraid. Welcome home, sir. Home. Said you would, Phoenix Squadron, kid. Well, here they are. Welcome home. Yeah. Home.